Mystery House. Mystery House. That strange publishing firm owned by Dan and Barbara Glenn, where each new novel is acted out by the Mystery House staff before it is accepted for publication. Mystery House. I like the title of the novel we're trying out tonight, Barbie. Uh, Killing in the Market. It takes place in the stock market, does it? Nope, Dan. The Wholesale Flower Market. What? Flower? F-L-O-W-E-R. Flower market. Oh, that seems like an odd place for a murder. Well, this is an odd murder. Flowers play an important part in it. Yeah, well, I don't see how flowers could be mixed in a murder. Sounds a little far-fetched. I'll bet it isn't, Mr. Glenn, because Mrs. Glenn is always mighty fussy about selecting novels that stick to, uh, close to reality. Almost as careful as I am. You? Careful about what? Why, careful about my part of the show. About sticking to reality and facts. Listen. <laughs> Okay, places everybody. Set the scene, will you, Tom? A killing in the market. Tonight's story opens in Doll Callahan's garishly furnished apartment. A man seems to want to get in rather badly. Doll, let me in. I mean, let me inside for love of Pete. Angles, what's the matter with you? What are you coming in the back door for? Hey, you look like you've seen a ghost. I got him. No matter where I go, I got him. Angles makes sense. What are you talking about? What's the matter? I got him, doll. The jitters. I must be washed up. Oh, you make me sick. They're shaking like a scared cop. What's happened? Every day I get flowers. For a week now. Every day, flowers. That's why I haven't come near you. I don't want him to find out about you and me. It's driving me... Angles! You mean... Not Dusty. Don't tell me Dusty Lazares. Angles, you mean Dusty skipped? No, he don't skip. The game is papers. He's free. And he's driving me nuts with them nick nick uh... Nicosiana? Yeah. <laughs> Dusty's sending you, Nicosiana. <laughs> Cut it out. What's so funny about that? That's what he sent me. He always gave me Nicosiana before they sent him up the river. Only he sent them to me because I was his girl. Nicosiana was his trademark. I know. But I never could figure out why a slicker like Dusty would fool around with a flower nobody else would be caught dead with. A creep like you wouldn't. But Dusty's the kind of guy that likes things pretty. And Nicosiana's one of the most beautiful flowers there is. They're different. They blossom at night. Ah, they stink. They can smell them for blocks. And I can't get away from that smell. Follows me wherever I am. Maybe that's why Dusty gave them to you. Maybe he doesn't want you to forget him. Maybe he's a little sore because you moved in on me when he got that rap. Yeah? So what's he gonna do about it? He must be stir-crazy. Sending me red and white flowers that only come out in the dark. Don't worry about Dusty. He's not the one that's losing his grip. Ah, he's nothing but a broken-down flower peddler. He's Dusty Lazari, the biggest guy that ever hit this top. Okay. So he talks sweet and pays 35 bucks for a necktie. He's still nothing but a flower peddler. Dusty Lazari and Doll Callahan. Everybody used to talk about us. Listen, Doll. Two of a kind, they said. Both smart. Cut it out. And the dough he had. He threw it around like it was nothing. Yeah? You're just lucky I was there to keep you from going to the pen along with him. Why, you... You framed him. You're the one... Now, look. It was only to keep him from framing me. You ratted on him, you mean. You had to muscle in on his territory. Don't give me that. I noticed you didn't have any trouble making the switch. What do you mean by that, mister? It don't make you sore to be riding in my limousine, does it? You don't mind the clothes I buy for you, do you? Why, you... I could kill you for what you did to Dusty. Oh. So now that Dusty's out of the hoose cow, you want to go back to him, do you? Listen, you little... Take your hands off of me. Just remember, sweetheart, I can take care of you and Dusty. You make me laugh. Come here, Dow. Oh, no. I'm getting out of here. I said come here. Take your hat off. You can't push me around. I'm leaving. Come here, Dow. What are you so excited about? Keep talking, Mr. Big. But I won't do you any good. 
You'll see the last of me when I walk through this door. What? Oh! Holy smoke! It, he's dead. It's Slugger. I told him to wait in a car around the corner. He should have. Oh, look. Look at that knife. Yeah. And look at his buttonhole. The cushion. It, it's dusty. He must have... Oh, no. No, it couldn't be dusty. Come on. No. I'm not going to get caught with you. I said come on. You want me to slug you again? Let go of my arm. Come on. You can register at some hotel. Only right now you're going to get out of here. Dusty's probably hiding someplace close by. Come on, we'll take the stairway. You're a rat. But maybe you're right. Keep quiet. Now act like nothing was wrong when we go out the door. Dusty won't try anything on the street. I should have known better than get mixed up with you. All right, now quiet now. And don't forget, you try anything funny and I'll fix it so you can't talk to Dusty or anybody else. Go ahead. Slap me again in front of all these people. Flowers. Flowers for the lady. Bye for a minute. Flowers for the lady. What's that old dame doing way up here? Uh, she hello, trying... Minnie. You got a nice bouquet for me today? Flowers for the lady. You like these. My best bouquet for only 50 cents. You never remember me, do you, Minnie? No, I don't remember. That's why I sell flowers. Such pretty flowers. Flowers? Flowers for the lady. Will you hurry up? We gotta get out of here. Goodbye, Minnie. Come on. Hey, taxi! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Hey, Carl! So long, Angles. Here, catch the bouquet. Take a good smell. It's Nicotiana. Step on a driver. Don't let him catch us. <laughs> Sit down, Dusty. It's been a long time. I figured we ought to have a chat just for old times' sake. You're sure that's all you have up your sleeve? Same old, Dusty. You know, you should have been on my team. You're smart. You'd have been a big shot on the police force. Yeah, well, I think I've had my taste of being a big shot, Andrews. Yeah, I suppose you did. By the way, Dusty, what are you doing now? Oh, same old thing. Only this time it's legal. I'm operating a little flower shop. Yeah, that's what I hear, Dusty. You still go for those things nobody else likes? What do you call them? Nick? Nick? Nicotiana. Still my favorite flower. And? And? Still my trademark. Oh, I, I'm glad you mentioned that, Dusty. There's a little matter of... And the... a matter of one stiff formerly known as Slugger Riley? That's it, Dusty. Mm. Slugger was found with a knife in his back and your trademark in his buttonhole. <laughs> Is that one of the old times you wanted to discuss, Andrews? Well, I did have that on my mind. But there's some other things, too. Uh, the real reason I asked you to drop around was this. I I want your professional advice. Oh, something about flowers? You planning a party? Oh, forgive me, Dusty. <laughs> I should have said your former profession. You see, I have a problem. An unexpected murder. Slugger Riley. Mm. Now, here are the facts. Riley was the chauffeur of a guy named Angles, who's the boyfriend of a gal named Dal Callahan at whose residence the murder was committed. Mm -hmm. Now, anybody driving a car for a guy like Angles might expect to get knocked off someday, but the interesting thing is that Riley was very healthy until shortly after a former friend of Angles was released from prison. Well, offhand, I'd guess that you were talking about me. I might be, Dusty. Uh, anyhow, this former friend comes home from prison to find that his girl is now holding hands with a guy who muscled in on his old racket. A perfect case of circumstantial evidence. Yeah, so I thought, Dusty. But it also occurred to me that I was dealing with a very smart character. Meaning? Meaning he was so smart he might plant his trademark on the body and figure I'd think he was too smart to do anything that looked so stupid. An interesting theory. But aren't the odds in favor of somebody else? An unknown assailant making use of the trademark in order to confuse the police? Maybe, maybe. However, I still like my theory. My trouble is that I don't want to make an arrest until I'm sure of getting a conviction. And so you'd like to have... Flowers? Flowers? Why, my pretty flowers? Sorry, Dusty. Oh. One of your competitors. Well, hello, Minnie. Oh, Dusty. Uh, thanks for the dress you brought me. I'm saving it for Sunday. You two know each other? Oh, for years, Andrews. Uh, Minnie, give the captain one of the special bouquets. He's uh, interested in the Cochiana. 
Nicotiana. Oh, it's not hard to find if you're looking for it. Nicotiana for Captain Andrews? Are you sure, Dusty? Yeah, quite sure, Minnie. And I'll have to make something special. <laughs> Wait not till I find my knife. I keep it in my basket somewhere. Oh, here it is. Here's my knife. Knife? That looks like a bayonet. <laughs> From the old act. I keep it sharp to cut my flowers. Yeah, Minnie was in Portville. She did a knife throwing act. You, you lost your husband that way, didn't you, Minnie? Lost him, sure. Never could keep his papers off other women. <laughs> Varmint. Yeah. You see, Minnie and her husband used to take turns throwing knives at each other. And every time it was old Vic's turn to be the target, he'd watch the audience for good-looking girls. Well, one day, he moved his head a little too much, and Minnie's knife got him. By accident, in the temple. He can't see no more women nowadays where he is. Well, that'll be all, Minnie. Step in again tomorrow. Are you all right, Dusty? You want no, me... No, everything's fine, Minnie. I'll see you tomorrow morning at the market. Uh, tomorrow, Dusty. Now, before we were interrupted, you were saying... Uh, uh... Dusty, uh, I've been thinking. I'd like to spend a day at the market with you. I find I'm getting interested in flowers. Anything I can do for you, Miss Callahan? Uh, uh, Captain Andrews. Anything wrong, Dal? What are you doing here? You're not... I might ask you the same thing. Well, I, I'm looking for a friend. I think I ought to warn you. I have a date with him at 5 o'clock. Nicotiana? Nicotiana? I must get to... You're up early, miss. Too early, maybe. Minnie, Minnie, have you seen Dusty Lazari? You know him, don't you? I never see what I tell, and I never tell what I see. Good morning, Minnie. I never see what I tell, and I never tell what I see. She's a queer one, that. You be careful, Dal. You may end up with a basket of flowers. Don't joke with me, Copper. I can still outsmart you. When I find Dusty, I'm going to tell him you're here. Do that. Tell him I'll be right where I said I'd meet him. I've got to find Dusty before that wise guy, Andrews, gets him. What'd you say, sugar? Oh, Angles, what are you doing here? Get out from behind that screen. Oh, no, baby, you come here. Keep your hands away from me. Get away or I'll scream. There's a cop right down there. You got me all wrong, doll. All I want to do is talk to you. Don't worry about Dusty. He'll wait for you. Dusty? Oh, no. No tricks. I'm going to find Dusty right now. Okay, sweetheart. I'll see you later. Nicotiana. All I need is Nicotiana. Hey, what's the matter? Hey, wait a minute. Let me in here. What is it? Oh, great Scott. Look at that knife. She's dead. Dead. And with a sprig of Nicotiana blooms in her hand. Don't touch that knife. Somebody give me a hand. Here you. Angles Baron. Where'd you come from? Hi, yeah. Uh, I, uh, well, me and the doll have been having some trouble, so I followed her down here to try to make up. How long have you been here? Oh, just got here. You seen Dusty Lazari? I ain't seen anybody. I knew I shouldn't have trusted that guy. There's nothing he wouldn't try to get away with. <laughs> of Slugger and Doll haven't been any great blow to society, but we can't let murder go unpunished even so. The question is, who should we punish? And uh, that's a question that'll be answered in the second act of A Killing in the Market. <laughs> Act two of A Killing in the Market. 
It's still early morning in the marketplace where florists come to buy fresh stocks of flowers for the day's trade. And in the empty booth in which Doll Callahan was killed by a knife are Police Captain Andrews and Angles Barron. Hey, what's happened? What's all the excitement about? Okay, Dusty, start talking. Where have you been? Well, I'm sorry, Andrews. I seem to be late. Late? Listen, Dusty. I've taken your oil for the last time. I trust you just overnight, I trust you. And I got another murder in my hands. Another murder? What do you think's under the canvas? What? Doll. Well, great Scott, Andrews, you don't... All think right, you... Dusty. I've played along with you far enough. Now I'm going to get tough. Why weren't you here at 5 o'clock? Well, I got your call. What call? What are you talking about? Well, Sergeant, somebody or other phoned from headquarters, said you want me to stop there and pick you up. You don't expect me to believe that. Well, I assure you, Andrews, it's true. Call your office. They'll tell you I was just there. I was trying to pull a fast one, Andrews. You don't think you'll check on him? On the contrary, I wish you would call. He's bluffing, Andrews. Anybody can see that. You shut up, Angles. I'll handle this. Dusty. Dusty, I've been looking all over for you. Yeah, hello, Minnie. I'll see you later. What's the matter, Dusty? She make you nervous? Uh, Dusty, you know what you told me about... Yeah, later, Minnie, Minnie, later, later. Captain Andrews has some business he'd like me to help clear Uh, up. Dusty, you told me... What did he tell you, Minnie? Maybe that's more important than Dusty would like to admit. Not now, Minnie. I assure you, Andrews, What's this all about, Minnie? Uh, You heard what Dusty said. You think I'm going to tell you? Well, Minnie, I'm an officer of the law. You can't talk that way to me, you know. Maybe Captain Andrews is right, Minnie... I don't want to get you in trouble. No, I'll not say a word. Not me, Dusty. You know you can trust me. After all the things you've done for me. For crying out loud, Andrews, you're going to let Dusty and that feeble-minded old dame cross you up? What are you going to do about it's Doll? Hey, you... Get you, 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 off of me! Hey, Manny, stop it, stop you it! Get that out or I'll have to lock you up. Yeah, yeah that old gal's nuts. You're... Should have been on that house. No, no, Minnie, wait a minute. You're only making trouble for both of us. I think you'd better run along now. That's right, Minnie. This is no place for you. Dusty, Dusty, don't make me... It's leave, all right, you? Minnie. It's all right. It's better for you. Go along, Minnie. Not a rum dumb. She ought to be well, strung I'll... up. Minnie! Just... Now, don't do that again. Now, go along. I'll see you soon. Uh, all right, Dusty, if you say so. You two going steady, Dusty? Why, you cheap hood. It wouldn't occur to you to be kind to a poor... Don't old... call me names. Who's got a record, you or me? Shut up, both of you. Well, I'm sorry, Andrews. I lost my temper, I guess. You and your fancy talk. What's the matter with you, Andrews? Why don't you lock him up? You gonna let Don lay there while you two practice your manners? All right, Angles, that's enough. We'll get to your late girlfriend soon enough. Now, Dusty, we've still got to settle this business of where you were at 5 o'clock. Well, I'll do everything I can to cooperate. Call your office. I'm going to do that, Dusty. There's a phone down there in that next booth. But just remember, I can see every move you make. So don't force me to use my gun. I'll be right here when you get back. You got a lot of crust for a guy with a pedigree, Dusty. You know you ain't got a chance of beating this rap, don't you? What makes you think I have a rap to beat, Angles? If I'd planned to eliminate anybody, I'd have concentrated on you. Instead of the doll or slugger Riley. Don't give me that mush talk. Don't forget you're not a cannonball anymore. I can clive you any time you say the word. Any time, see? You haven't learned, have you, Angles? What do you mean? You framed me once, but you won't get away with it again. Oh, that's a lot of fake or rule. Don't worry, thing. Angles. Don't worry. I'm not going to bump you off. I learned too much up the river to try that again. But there are other ways. Ah, uh, you talk like you're stir crazy. Yeah? Well, let's see what Andrews has to say. He's coming back now. Okay. So you fixed it so the cops would say you were at the police station. But the important thing is, you didn't keep your date with Andrews and... And what? And Andrews knows Dahl was murdered while you were gone. That's still gonna seem mighty funny to him. <laughs> You'd love to pin this on me, wouldn't you? You did it. You and Nicosiana. <laughs> I'll be seeing you, Dusty. I done my day's work. Well, gotta hand it to you, Dusty. You've got an alibi. But confounded, I know you too well. You still might have done it. Maybe. It seems to me you're building up a circumstantial case without any real motive. Motive? Don't you call what Dahl did to you enough of a motive? Well, surely you don't think I'm carrying a torch for the girl just because she switched to Angles when I was convicted. That's not what I'm talking about. Angles told a stool that Dahl Callahan squealed on you. Yeah? I don't get it. It was an anonymous telephone call that gave us the evidence you were convicted on. Angles claims that call came from Dahl Callahan. I don't believe that, Andrews. Sounds good enough to me. Dahl wasn't the kind of a girl to cook up a story on me. The call came from somebody. Yeah, well, who made it isn't important. I was running the mob, and Angles wanted to move in. So he planted the evidence that got me convicted. Doesn't hold up, Dusty. I can 
can figure how Angles might want to get rid of Dahl. She was always crazy about you. But Slugger was his own bodyguard. Sure. That was a trap for me. There had to be some reason for getting me back into prison. An angle. So he knocked off Slugger to make it look as if I'd killed him. But he made one big mistake. What? He used a knife. I never used a knife in my life. I never even used a gun. <laughs> I used my brain. Yeah, you always did. But you made a mistake too, Dusty. You didn't count on my finding the knife Minnie always carries. Minnie? Yes, Minnie. Technically, she's responsible for both murders, Slugger and Al Callahan. But you're morally responsible because you hired her to do both jobs for you. Minnie? Oh, you're not serious. You got careless when you had Minnie killed out. You weren't with me to establish your alibi. I'm putting both you and Minnie under arrest and making it stick. Come along. Well, I... Okay. But, uh, you mind if I get a flower first? The stuff I bought's over in my truck. <laughs> you're losing your grip, Dusty. You think I'm going to let you get away in that truck? Now that's chance. Come on. Yeah, you're awfully suspicious, aren't you? Why wouldn't I be? Well, maybe I can get a flower from Minnie. She should still be around here. Hey, Minnie! Oh, Minnie! Don't get too smart, Dusty. I won't hesitate to shoot you and Minnie both if you try any fast ones. And if you think that knife... Ah, oh, there is... she is. Hey, Minnie! Oh, my God, you called me, Dusty. Yeah, you uh, got any fresh Nicotiana, Minnie? I, Keep uh... your hand out of that pocket, Dusty, or I'll have to shoot. I just want to get some money to pay her, Andrew. I'm warning you, Dusty. Oh, that's all right, Dusty. You don't need to pay me for a little Nicotiana. See? It's real fresh. Just cut this morning. Ain't even opened out yet. It won't till sundown. Real fresh. Yeah. Real fresh. Nicotiana in my truck. It's fresh, too. Not opened out yet. Andrews. What? Don't you see, Andrews? The bouquet of Nicotiana we found on Dahl's body, it was opened out. But there isn't a sprig of the stuff in the flower market this morning that's open. That Nicotiana Dahl had wasn't bought here this morning. It was yesterday's cutting. Well, I don't see what... Check with the station. They'll tell you I didn't have any Nicotiana when I was there. The sergeant cracked wise about it. If I'd have gotten any, I'd have had to buy it here. After I got here. And it wouldn't have been blooming. Don't move. I'm talking to you too, Andrews. You're covered. Put that gun down, Angles. You can't get away with it. That's a good tip, Angles. Killing a cop would make it tougher on you when they catch you. Shut up, both of you. And listen to me. I heard everything you both said. That part about the Nicotiana. I'll bet you enjoyed that. Didn't you, Angles? Ah, you flowers. Yeah. Flowers for your grave, Angles. Seems funny that a pretty little flower could send you to the electric chair, doesn't it? Shut up. I didn't kill her. It's Minnie. She could have had flowers left over from yesterday. I got all fresh flowers. There ain't a leftover sprig of Nicotiana in my basket. See? Just a minute, Minnie. Now, what do you think? Don't reach for that knife, Minnie. Look out! Tried to shoot me, you dirty little crook. My, my side. That knife. I'll take that gun, Angles. Thanks. Well, smart boy. Okay. I knew I was stuck. When Dusty popped off with that stuff about the flowers. Get me to a hospital, can't you? I'm in bad shape. First knife I've thrown in 30 years. But you can't say I've lost my touch. Faster, Dusty. Ah, you were terrific, Minnie. You know, you ought to go back into vaudeville. Not me. I'll stick to flowers. All except negotiate. Yeah, maybe you're right, Minnie. Maybe we both ought to give up the Koshiana.